Hey everybody, T1 Glistenroff here, rocking the Vintage Untap Open League. This is uh, taking turns once again. This is <laughs> time walk, time walk, time walk, and of course, time walk. So 13 of them, plus God Eternal Kefnat, plus Jace to find more, plus Sensei's Divining Top to find more, plus Jace to find more, <laughs> plus Baral to make them cheaper. Although that's actually going to be a, maybe a bit of a problem in this next matchup because I'm going up against Esper Outcome. This is not an all-in storm deck. This has uh, Lavinia as a way to deal with the opponent's shenanigans. It has Narset for the same, though Narset can get stuff, and it has Teferi to allow you to actually combo off. So, yay! Fun! Good times! <laughs> Good times! So this is not an all-in combo, but of course, because it's Esper, it gets black, so it gets all the tutor shenanigans, so they can get whatever they need. And there's Yogwill, <laughs> Yoghorn Leghorn's will. This is gonna be a fun... Oh, there's Tendrils of Agony. This is gonna be a fun game. This is gonna be a fun matchup, so okay. Uh, Exile rocking the other magic sleeves. This'll work. Alright, so here's my opening hand. And I haven't seen a... Well, I, oh yeah, I'm going first, so I have to decide. So I have two lands. Force, three time walks, and a Kefnet. I'm on the play, but I think I can actually keep this. This may be a little bit greedy, but I know what I'm up against, and I have Force of Will in hand, so I think I have enough time, reasonably, to make it to four mana for Kefnet. Uh, if I have to use Force before then, then it may change things a little bit, but I'm definitely going to pitch one of my time walks. Uh, we'll say... Do they even have misdirection? Does Exile have misdirection in here? I know he in this case. Does he have misdirection? No. Not even in the sideboard. So it actually doesn't matter uh, which one I pitch for this. Uh, you know, so whatever's good. I will say keep. Mon ami. My friend. Shoutouts to T. Shoutouts to uh, Peppermint Tea, in this case. I don't even remember the brand, <laughs> unfortunately. I'm doing a great job of shouting myself out to potential sponsors by not remembering the brand. <laughs> oh, it's Peppermint Tea. It's cool. It's good. Honestly, more so for the scent than the actual flavor itself. Ooh. Ooh, there's a mole. Okay, well that's fun. Ah. Uh, Oof. I'm usually not a fan of just putting oof, <laughs> but if it's used infrequently enough that it doesn't lose its luster, that it doesn't lose its oomph, <laughs> then I guess it's alright. It's kind of like yikes. It used to mean something and then everyone used it. Single mole. Uh, yeah, that's true. So this is Storm. True. Put that garnet back in. So for those that don't know what a Garnet is, it's actually a term from another card game. It's a piece of a combo, or an engine, or some piece of your game plan you need to be not in your hand. <laughs> it needs to be still in your deck, but definitely not in your hand, because if it's in your hand, you're stuck. Oftentimes a deck like this will have something like Tendrils of Agony be a card you don't want to be in your hand because you're going to tutor it up. That's especially true in, say, Legacy Storm, where you're trying to go Lion's Eye Diamond, Infernal Tutor, to get, say, Tendrils of Agony or a Wish. Um, it's a little different in this deck. I'm not actually sure that there are any true Garnets. Maybe Tendrils, but even then they can still... Oh, okay. They're keeping. Alright. Good to go. I, okay, cool. Didn't quite get there in time. Alright, I'm going to check the setup, make sure it's all good, and looks like we're set to go. Yep, Force of Will against a, a Mole? I am okay with this. I'm going to say Island Pass. Alright. So I it is burning up in here. Oh my goodness. We had a bit of a cold spell, and then Gazaxian Probe. Okay. Reveal all once. And I'll keep reveal. I'll keep revealed. 
that is a hand. Yeah, this this could go poorly though. To be fair, this could go really poorly. To be completely fair. Hey. No worries. <sighs> so but I can't I don't, uh, probably don't want to take off my shirt. I don't think that YouTube would appreciate that too much. <laughs> no, maybe not. Maybe not. Much as somebody out there might like it, maybe not. Save that, if my channel is an anime, I'll save that for the inevitable beach episode or pool episode. <laughs> I can't see what that is. Okay, cool. So they see my hand, so I will draw a card. Okay, the internet is slow here. Uh, in case there are any doubt, the internet is very slow here. Uh, huh. So let's see. I believe I should start with... I mean, they're going... I might want to play the land first here. It doesn't matter, because when I play the preordain, they're going to know the contents of my hand. Alright, so I'll just preordain first. Okay, okay. All right, cool. So let's take a nice long look. Look at the top two cards. Now I have a touchpad, so I always worry that that's going to sneak over. It's, it's done that against Alpha. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> um, I guess time walk is just a cycle here. So I'm actually going to put both of these on the bottom and draw a card. Bottom of deck. Bottom of deck. And then draw. Make sure that I'm sure that I'm sure that I'm sure that I'm sure that it's going to work the way I... Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. That's not terrible. Um... Hmm. I'm a little wary of, of cracking it now. I probably should anyway, just so that I can keep hitting my land drops. Yeah, yeah, I think it's correct to play it here. Uh, yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. It's going to take those two cards I put on the bottom and just shuffle them back in, so I'm slightly less likely to get a land, but I think that's negated by the fact that I'm playing a Sensei's Divining Top, so, uh, <laughs> I think we're good. I think we're alright. Oh, hello. Alright. It does mean that once again I'll be playing fully revealed, so... I lose the element of surprise. There's strip mine. I was tempted to just leave that sitting for a bit so that it would load all of my cards. Um, let's see. Top. See if that resolves. I'm actually gonna scoot you over here, bud. <laughs> all right. To but to be honest, Kefnet is spicy, but to be honest, the whole list is spicy. Oh, yeah. There's a story. <laughs> behind it. I'll pass the turn while I tell it. I was expecting to have less, much less time to play, so I chose a casual deck rather than infect again. Oh, hello. All right. Yeah, that is unfortunately how that works. And so now that I have top out, I'm going to be saying upkeep an awful lot here. <laughs> Thinking. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah. But I am 3-1 with the deck. Uh, granted, a casual league where, because it is casual, because we're not playing for points or anything in the league, um, I think a bunch of people are playing stupid rogue decks like me. I've seen bonus round storm. I've seen... What did I what did I play before bonus round storm? It, it was also something dumb, if I remember correctly. It was something dumb like this. Uh, well, whatever it was. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Take your time. Take your time. I will be enjoying my liquid potpourri here. Hmm. I'm gonna move this over here so that my arm isn't blocking the uh, the Evangeline poster. <laughs> Check out the little butterfly. She has a butterfly. Uh, hmm. Let's see. <laughs> okay. 
So it's, it's pretty clear what I'm debating here. Uh, if I play the Force of Will now, I, I neg negate them gaining three cards. <laughs> but whatever they cast next is going to resolve. They're, they're going to know. Okay, it's good. This is tough. This is t I don't want to give them three cards, but I think I'm in this matchup. There's pretty much one spell that's consequential, and I need to counter that. I don't mind giving my opponent more fluff. I used to. It's maybe too situational. Huh. This feels wrong. Giving my opponent three cards feels pretty wrong. It feels wrong to let this resolve. But I think that if I counter, you... Oh, hello. Hello. All right, it's good. All right, folks, you can rake me over the coals for that one. You can rake me over the coals. I could very well be wrong there, especially since I just gave them more cards to find their own counter magic, which consist of uh, four Force of Will. So that could very well just be a strictly wrong move that I just did. You know, when, you, when you're playing Vintage and you give your opponent the chance to find Force of Will, that could be wrong. But I think it's maybe a darned if I do, darned if I don't situation. Um, if I give them three cards, they're, they're more likely to have Force of Will. If I don't give them, I just used up my Force of Will, so either way, the Force is probably not doing very much this game, as a result. But, I'm gonna try. This is still a Storm deck. This is still the kind of deck where, potentially, though it has a lot of redundancy and tutors, if I counter one spell, I might just win the game. But because my opponent, this is an open deck list format, and they get probed me anyway, my opponent knows to try to wait to go off until they have counter magic too. They have their own force of will, for instance. Uh, and there's no Flusterstorm main board, not that I see. Uh, Chain of Vapors main board, that's, that's actually pretty cool. I dig it. And then we'll kind of count Teferi as counter magic, sort of. He, he's serving a similar function. Um, I also have a top end play. So if I can make it just a little bit longer behind this force of will, I think I'm in okay shape. I, it could very well go wrong. That could be, that could have been a terrible decision, but I don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying. The fact that my opponent sees that I have a force of will and was still willing to run that out makes me think that they were running it out as a bait spell. Although, to be fair, that is the best bait spell <laughs> that you can run in that spot. Um, especially since you see I don't have a mental misstep. That's one of the problems with playing the top there. Uh, one, I had to shuffle, so the two on the bottom got shuffled back in. Oh! Oh, you know what? No, I still need to shuffle. Keep forgetting that untap doesn't do it automatically. Sorry for the slow play. So many lines in Vintage. No worries. God, you're playing so slow. Oh, man. Does Trice? Does Trice? Uh... Okay. Trice. Uh... Oh! I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it does. I, I don't... I don't think I've ever used Cockatrice before. I'm 99.99% sure I've never used Cockatrice before. 
I think I would remember if I had. Oh, what's that? Oh, fetching right away. Go, stifle. I have considered running stifle in this, in this format. Well, it's not. Doesn't seem like a good idea. <laughs> Does not seem like a good idea, folks. Alright, uh... Yup. One. Uh, that looks like a tutor. Eh, it's a tutor. Oh, this is, this is not going well. At all. Not at all, folks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, typically the logic is you want to counter not the tutor, but the thing that the tutor is going to get. Typically. But it's about to go get a force of will. So... Yeah. Yeah, we're still going to let it go. I am being entirely too patient with this force of will, I think. But the fact that I let it, I let the Ancestral Recall go means I'm kind of all in on the counter the end, not the means plan. And because of that, alright, you know the drill. Upkeep. Hello? Uh, no, 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 that's not the one. Where is Shay? Aha! I found you! I found you! Faker? Faker? I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Ha! Huh. <laughs> I can't help myself. You're not even good enough to be my fa- I'll make you eat those words! I love that game so much. I love that game so much, folks. You have no idea. You have absolutely no idea how much I love that game. That's my childhood. Alright, cool. So we're going to draw. Gee, I wonder what I just drew. Once again, I'm gonna kinda give the game away here. Though, to be fair, I was gonna do that no matter what. I'll make them think I don't have another land coming up. By doing that. Ta-da! Okay. Alright. And I will pass the turn. That does mean that I still have the ability to do top shenanigans. End of turn. How dare you! <laughs> you got it. Oh, hello. Yeah, I've, I've, I've charted my course. I am all in on this. Mystical Tutor is a card that I'm running in here too, as I recall. Oh no, it's not in this version. I used to run it. Previously, I, I had run it, um, but apparently it got cut. Which is a little bit weird, because I have Kefnet as a two of in the deck, and it's not really a combo deck, though. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> Yet, no, 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 no. Go for it. Alright, that's, that's Merchant Scroll. <laughs> god. Okay, well gee, I wonder what we're getting here. Let's see. Now, to be fair, no Blightsteel. But, let's look at the artifacts. We have Bolus' Citadel, and gee, I wonder what they're going to go get. Gee, I wonder. Yeah! <laughs> Where is Upside Down? Uh, there we go. Ooh. Alright, wait, 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 wait. Look at the, you may play the top card, uh, okay. So, I can, because of this wording here, I can see what the card is. Huh. Okay, so they're, uh, this is their storm count. So, storm, life total, they're revealing it to themselves. Oh, pfft, what is this? What, what? Oh, colorless mana. Itchy nose is itchy. Alright. Hmm. Now that is interesting. 
I don't know what that is. I have seen people fizzle from this spot, but that usually means that they're going to go off on the next turn. Uh, <laughs> F6. You see my hand after all. Oh, you know what? This is not on the field anymore. Wait, not F6. I'm an idiot. Keep going. Yep. <laughs> Caffeine, kick in, please. Narset activation now resolves. Okay, cool. Oh well. Too late. In all likelihood, it wasn't going to happen. At this you win 0% of the games where you concede, so I won't concede yet, but I still should have at least tried. That would require me to actually no, though. Yeah, what's that? I can't see. Okay, pedal. I'm sorry, what happened to the Mox Opal? I don't see another, so it didn't legend rule, right? Nani? Nani? Oh, well. I'm so lost. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, you got me. He's gonna keep firing this off. What is that? Uh, now I will. Better late than never. Shake it. Shake it real good. You are too young to know that reference. You are too young, my friend. Okay, didn't matter. Didn't matter. You got this. Game two, because they're going to Vampiric Tutor for Tendrils of Agony, play the Tendrils off the top, and then win. So, they've got it here. <laughs> they've got it here. So I, I see the writing uh, for this one, writing on the wall. Let's go to sideboard, shall we? Let's go to sideboard. So things that matter here. Damping Sphere, for obvious reasons. Uh, Flusterstorm, again, for obvious reasons. It, it hits enough cards in the deck, it's, it's worthy. You are worthy of my grace. Uh, you know, Graph Digger's Cage, players can't cast cards in libraries. That's interesting. I think I'll have that as a one of. I don't want to go too far into that. Energy Flux is weird. You saw that they didn't really have artifacts until they had all the artifacts. So I'm a little worried about Energy Flux not doing very much. Let's look at, let's take a look at their deck list. Uh, the Moxen, it does matter for. So that's fair. Uh, on a turn other than their combo turn, hitting those Moxen can make a big deal, can make a difference. Um, hmm. On any other turn, though, Hercules Recall may end up being better, because in response to Paradoxical Outcome, I can cast Hercules Recall. And that'll return all of their artifacts to hand, though they can still put, like, a, a Planeswalker, like they did with Narset there, to still draw a card. So it won't truly counter it. It won't counter it anyway, but you know what I mean. Uh, so from here, I would like to see what I should take out first. My M.O. is to take out some, uh, some of my Time Walk spells. And that's probably what I'll end up doing. Graft Digger's Cage is weird. The deck is so heavily reliant on Bolas of Citadel 
that if I can play a Graph Digger's Cage, you wouldn't think it would make that much of a difference, but it actually can. That said, they have Teferi, and Teferi can bounce it, plus they also have Chain of Vapor, uh, so that can do it too. Chain of Vapor is a little weird, to be honest, in this kind of deck, because you can use Chain of Vapor to return their stuff, but they don't care if you return, like, a Mox or something. They really don't care. You're not going to sack a land to return one of their Mox in. Um, I'm tempted to run one Energy Flux in here, just to try to get him. <laughs> uh, also, there's Hercules Recall. There is still that Hercules Recall I can do to try to, uh, to get him there. We'll do Hercules Recall. And should I go all in on Hercules Recall? That seems greedy. I, I probably shouldn't do that. Hercules Recall just for the paradoxical outcome is probably sufficient. When, when we take a look at their deck list again, they have 16 artifacts. Black Lotus and Lotus Petal are probably not going to matter for paradoxical, though they certainly could, especially Petal. The rest, however, kind of does. Uh, oh, well, it can also not bolus a Citadel. Um, I don't want to water the deck down too much. Yeah, so we're going to go... Manipulation. Put it up here. Let's see. Capture. And I guess I should do Time Warp times two. Actually. Let's do Time Warp times two. That seems like it's the strictly best one, even though it really doesn't... There's no, like, misdirection in my opponent's deck, so that's not going to make a difference. The fact that it's target player. Uh, this may be wrong, but I'm going to try it. Puts me down to nine extra turn spells. And that's a little worse for Kefnat, I admit. I readily admit. The fact that we're able to get some shenanigans here, though, probably makes up for it. I can really run Damping Sphere, because... I am casting one spell a turn after a certain point. So let's draw our seven. Alright. This is fine. Especially since I'm on the play. I get to go turn one into medallion. So island, mox, medallion. Don't get force of will this turn though. And then I'll get turn two kefnet, and then I can start going to town. Uh, hello. Keep. Alright, what do you say? And also, shoutouts to Exile for winning on a mold of six. I mean, again, granted, Vintage Storm. That can be done. Um, but still, that's kind of neat. Alright, now I'm doing this to hide the fact that I have... Alright, cool. Oh, yeah, I probably should have waited just in case they want to counter the mocks. That's almost never the case, but still. Okay. <laughs> nice. Nick fit. All right. I'm going to say pass turn. Save that fetch land for later. Hit him with the Kefnet on turn two. And if they have Lavinia turn one, I don't care. Kefnet doesn't care. Uh, if they have Lavinia, I'll just play Kefnet next turn because Kefnet's a non-creature, so Lavinia doesn't work on it. There's a Mox. I'm gonna say, okay. Okay. Do it again. That looks like a Teferi. It was a Narset. Oh, it's Time Twister. Interesting. Pro seed. Alright, so I'm gonna have to put these back in the hand or in the deck. Uh, I think this is the command I'm supposed to use. So I put four of them on the bottom of the deck, and then I shuffle, and then I draw seven. Okay, oh, okay. That's fine. That's fair. <laughs> no doubt. Gee, I've been saved by Fox. How swell. Ooh, okay. That's real good. That's real good, folks. Okay. 
So, I'm going to do preordain here. Okay. It, it's a blue deck. I'm still just going to ask to make sure. I should have done that with the emerald, even though... Yeah, they're, they're not going to... They're not going to counter that. Alright, so let's use the emerald for preordain. We're not going to start taking ex extra turns just yet. Alright, okay. Cool, just making sure. Well, no time walk. Uh, let's... <laughs> this is fun! But get Princess Peach in here. Ooh, this is fun! I'm gonna take some extra turns. I'm gonna take some extra turns. Get into the chopper, get into the chopper. I wish. Instead... I'm gonna move this over here. Nice. GM. Okay, I was about to say, if that's game, oh my goodness, we are in some serious trouble. Don't make me shuffle. Don't make me shuffle. Don't make me shuffle. Please, do not make me shuffle. Dear God, do not make me shuffle. Oh boy. Oh boy, yeah boy. It's your boy. It's your boy, Kevnet, here to ruin your day. Oh, oh yeah, from three to zero. Okay, fair enough. I figured you weren't going to storm off, but, you know. If they had drawn Black Lotus, they could very well have started to storm off that turn. That would not have been fun. Time Twister to reload is, is generally good for them, as you might imagine. Though, much better if you're actually going off on that turn. Yeah. Same with... Actually, do they have Windfall in here? No, they don't have Windfall. Huh. I mean, Time Twister's better, but Windfall, interest, no Windfall. Time Twister is better for a number of reasons. Uh, it always does seven cards, and it doesn't make them discard the cards, which is relevant for Dredge. Uh, not that there's much Dredge this season, for whatever reason. People were on their jank train, that's why. Alright, I'm playing with a handicap now. It's the uh, T1 Glistener Elf has to go to the restroom, but <laughs> handicap. As you do. <laughs> Why the heck not? <laughs> That's a, that's a thing. That is a thing. Go for it. Just to, just to clarify that. Uh, Alright. <laughs> Storm time. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Wrong one. Hello? Hello? Targeting PO. <laughs> Gotta have it. Double force. Let's go. Oh, also I'm at 18. Took me a sec. Double force. Guess who? Alright, can I just do this? Can I just drag it off the top? Nope, I can't. Uh, how do I... Alright, so I guess you do look at top card. And then you do this? I guess? K. 
cast the copy. As my four-year-old would say. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, and we'll, we'll cast it for one. As you do. Combat. Four. All right. Uh, yeah, we got there. We got there. It happens. All right. Play another one. You know, because why not? Why not? All right. Cool. <laughs> Next turn. All right. Let's look at the top card. Now I don't know. So uh, let's see. Troll la 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 One two and that's all I have to cast it for. Cost reduction, cost reduction, cost reduction. Let's uh let's not. We're trying to go to combat here. Hi ya. <laughs> Double force, man. I'd like to think so. Next turn. All right. I don't need much more here. I really don't. I swear, if I get another one off the top, that is just actual factual game. You know the drill. <laughs> Oh man. I'm gonna assume this resolves. One, two, three. Game three. Let's go. Let's go, fam. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. oh man, dang, okay, yeah, that happens, that, that, that does happen, okay, so now though, we're gonna be on the draw, I appreciate the extra card, and not giving the Storm player an extra card, but that can mean T1 Lavinia, T1 Teferi, those are not fun to have to deal with, I still think that one Graft Digger's Cage is fine to have in, I don't think that I would like to go through more than one, because it's not completely necessary to the deck, and it's not... It, it is redundant, so if you have more than one, it doesn't do anything. Um, I don't think that they're expecting it either. Uh, it is something, and it fights Bolas' Citadel. So, yay, that's cool. Itchy nose, good grief, good grief. I think it's the, the mustache coming up. <laughs> ah. Hmm. I think that there's a case to be made for Energy Flux being better right now. Um, no, no, I think I should keep it the way it is. This may go wrong, but I think when they're only at seven cards, they're more likely to have to preemptively play uh, artifacts before their combo turn, like Moxton especially. And so this can help to tax them going in. But I, I, uh, I don't know, I don't know. It is really good against uh, Sensei's Divine. I'll tell you what, we'll do one. We'll put one in, and we'll take out... Jace VP is not great on the... Well, no, no, Snapcaster. Snapcaster is going to be really slow here. Probably... No. I, I do have Flusterstorm coming in, and Hercules Recall. That is still pretty slow, though. Oh. Uh, I don't know that it's right to take out a Cantrip. Jace is probably the one to get cut here. Uh... I think that that's where I'm going. Jace is going to be kind of slow, and it is an actual win con. That is that is fair. Um, but I really don't want to cut my time walk countdown too much further. Uh, partially because of Kefnet. That, that's a large reason why, actually. Uh, but it still leaves one. Jace is legendary. There is a bit of an opportunity cost in having more than one. 
So I think that that's correct, and I'm going to try it out. All right, here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Huh. Cage, Flusterstorm, Time Walk Snapcaster. Oh, uh... Oh, yeah. Does it you keeping? Keep as well. All right. Let's go. Round three. Fight. All right, here comes. They're, they're doing it already. Makes me worry. What's going on? Kaiba, what's going on? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> yeah, LOL, force the pedal. I dare you. <laughs> Nyx for the win. Ooh, Lavinia. Now, that's something I'm a little bit worried about. Lavinia's okay. I, I think I can live with that. Uh, not that I have any choice, actually. Not that I have any choice. And, by the way, those effects are asymmetric. They only apply to me. So, if I draw a Mox here, I don't get to cast it. Huh. Huh. Alright. Do it in the correct order. I believe that it's right for me to cast Preordain here. I don't believe it's correct to keep up Flusterstorm right now. Or maybe I'm supposed to do top. Maybe I'm supposed to do top, actually. That's probably right. Do, do top instead. Get that long-term value going on. I'm not going to be able to use force, however, so this does cut a bit into what I'm able to use. Um, but next turn, I can just get the... Uh, well, yeah, top definitely, because I have another fetch land up, actually, so that's that's actually pretty good. What do you say? What do you say? T1 super has to go to the restroom right now. All right. <laughs> no concede. No concede. I may ask for a break in just a moment, though. Not gonna lie. I may. Yeah, obviously I can't do anything else because Lavinia. So even if I had a Mox, I couldn't play it. Kapow. Oh, oh, yep. All right. Shake it real good. Let's see. Lavinia is pretty rough. I'm not too worried about this hand. I just need to keep hitting my land drops. That's the name of the game right now. Just. Don't stop believe. Uh, don't stop hitting your land drops. Don't stop believing. I did not change that at all. Okay. Oh yeah, I still have to actually draw it. Right, cool. Cool. Um. Gee, I know what the next two cards are. Guess what I'm about to do. Oh, jeez. I, I I can live with Lavinia. I can live with her. Oh, hello. Eeth her. With her. I can... Yeah, oh, jeez. Alright, so I know the next two. Look at the top two cards. Cool. 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 Okay. None of that. I've been with Evangeline all weekend. I am in max silly mode, so I apologize. Kind of. Alright. Let's get a move on. Let's get a move on. We're at four lands. Now, the way that Lavinia's ability is worded, she doesn't actually tax my time lock spells. She just counter- I can't cast them unless I have enough lands to have cast them without cost reduction. In other words, if I would like to play, say, Capture Jingzhou, I need to have five lands. Even if I have something like Brawl 
or medallion uh, to make them cheaper. That does mean that if I have enough cost reduction effects, yeah, no. it's good. All right, cool. You're good. You are good. That means if I have enough cost reduction effects, theoretically I could cast more than one a turn, uh, even through Lavinia. But I can never cast them for free. I can never cast a spell uh, the way that it's worded. Uh, whenever an opponent casts a spell, if no mana was spent, you cast a counter that spell. Not that that matters in my deck. There's nothing I'm casting for free other than Mox and Black Lo Moxin and Black Lotus. Uh, there's not even, I think, there's not even Gitaxian Probe. And Mental Misstep, both of those cards I could cast for blue mana anyway. So that's fine. I just can't do them for free. Huh. We're getting pretty close to the point where I'm just going to have to hold up Flusterstorm every turn. We're getting really darn close to that. Uh, huh. So next turn, I think that what I'm going to do is spin the top, play Graft Digger's Cage, hold up Flusterstorm, and call it a day. Oh, I'm sorry, what's going on here? Oh, okay, this is, they just changed the order a little bit. And revealed the same cards. Um. I'm sorry. May I. You know what? Fine. I'll, I'll live. I'll live with it. I'll live. I can make it. I can make it. Shuts down force and ramp. No doubt. Alright. We're gonna make this. We're going to make it. We can do this. All right, and they have a fetch land up too. That's uh, that's huge. Look at the top three, and we get three fresh. Oh, well. Do I care about any of those right now? I really don't, do I? I uh, of those, I guess medallion is actually the best one. Of the three of them. So I, I guess I'm supposed to keep Medallion, but I can't cast it yet, because I need to hold up Flusterstorm, no matter what. Flusterstorm has to stay. I am going to have to ask for a break. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Exile. You, uh, you've uh, you been patient already, and I don't want to make you wait any longer. But, alright. So we'll draw. Yeah, we're, we're gonna do it now. I think we're pretty close to the point where we kind of have to. Graph Digger's Cage. Huh. Yeah, Bolus' Citadel. That is a card. Alright.
really turn the light off? Oh well. And we're back! Okay, cool. <laughs> back- oh, wait a minute. Cage only shuts down Tinker for Blightsteel and Yogg will- oh, and Citadel. Ooh, uh, and Yogg will out of my list if I recall correctly. Yeah, so basically that's it. I was worried most about Bolus' Citadel, but yeah, those- those two. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm gonna say pass turn. Oh, oh, okay. they're not doing the, uh, the top. Okay, I didn't know if they were gonna try to fetch, but they did top, so they might like what they see. Alright, what you got? What you got? Ooh, okay, what is this? Um... I can Flusterstorm, but Flusterstorm on a Time Walk doesn't seem great. It is just two extra damage. It's a bait. It's, it's, it's a good card, but it doesn't quite make the cut. If I Flusterstorm, it's not going to resolve, because in order for it to resolve, they would have to tap the Mana Vault, and they're not going to do that. So it would just be trading one for one. Um... But we're getting to a spot where, if I don't, like, they could just have a naked paradoxical outcome. Ah, that's not great. I'm about to not know what the top of, of my deck is. You know what? I, I know what the top of my deck is, so I'm just going to... Oh my goodness, this is tricky. This is tricky. Ah. Uh, it was tricky. Tricky. You were about to get to the point where Flusterstorm isn't even going to be able to counter Paradoxical Outcome anymore. I can do some math here. One, two, three, six. Paradoxical Outcome is four, so if they just start off with Paradoxical Outcome, they'll have two mana left, and they don't mind tapping this at that point because it's coming back to hand. It won't do much at that point at all. So I'm basically just countering a cantrip if I, if I go that route. Counterpoint is I if I flusterstorm here, I actually have Snapcaster Flusterstorm going forward. So I think I'm supposed to fetch here and do it. Oh, don't forget to shuffle. Hey, we got there. Oh, no, I can't use Snapcaster, because Gravedigger's Cage is in. I can't use Snapcaster anymore. I mean, no, no, that's wrong. I can use Snapcaster. I just have to use it as a Doom Blade. Yeah, so this could be wrong. But, honestly, I think that I'm already at the point where if I don't do it now, I'm not going to get any value out. Oh, oh, they're tapping it. Oh! Fair enough. Itself. Oh, hello. And a copy. Yeah, itself and a copy. Although, if it were two copies, it'd be fine either way, because Mana Vault taps for three. <laughs> One left over. Uh, I'm going to say no response now. You got it, go for it. Oh yeah, you're shaking the, spin the top with the extra. So it does actually matter. It does matter for that. I'm gonna press the last little bit of caffeine out of this. Because apparently I could use it. I could always use some more caffeine. T1 caffeine elemental. Yeah, I don't blame you. We're, I imagine we're debating the, uh, the fetch here. I would think. Go for it. Do what you have to do. Do what you have to do. <laughs> I believe you. 
you can tell me afterwards. <laughs> I'm I'm curious. I really am. <laughs> no. Nose wars. Where are you? <laughs> Alright, where's uh where's something that I can use for a mustache? Hmm. I don't know. We'll we'll find something. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. That's totally a mustache. <laughs> Close enough. I'm, that's my story and I'm sticking with it. See this, folks? I like it. Evangeline likes it, too. She will just do this at it. Yours beard. She doesn't say yours beard anymore, but, you know, your beard. Alright, so now we're at the point where the next time Lavinia swings, I can throw Snapcaster in the way. I won't get as much value because Crafter's Cage is a card. Um, it is what it is. Snapcaster's only a 3 of. And when I was building the deck, I actually didn't know if 3 was too many. I thought maybe I could go one more Kefnet, one fewer Snapcaster Mage. Or maybe replace a Snapcaster with a Mystical Tutor. Um, Snapcaster's... It's great. But, like, it's great late game. In Vintage, turn 1 is, uh, is often where it goes. Cool. Yeah, no top shenanigans. Oh, yeah, that's tap still. Uh, we're getting there. Oh, just paying the one. Yeah, now I'm a little bit less worried, but to be fair, they still have four now for, uh... They have four for Paradoxical. Blip, blip. Toya. Blip, blip, toya. Faya! Oh, wow! Yeah, when, when I get beaten here in a... In a five turns. Fire! Oh, wow! We're getting dangerously close to just raw tendrils here. Oh my goodness. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. Oh no. Demonetized. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm having fun. Can you tell? I'm having fun. <laughs> Alright, we have the Sensei's Divining Top Mirror here. Ah. Uh. And neither of us are using it in exactly the, the fairest way possible. I think, if I remember correctly, I was also considering Snapcaster out for another Sensei's Divining Top, I believe. I've had some decent luck finding it, though, so that's cool. That's cool. That's cute. That's is cute. Hey! Yup! I'm just gonna keep that over there. I'll have to be careful because I have accidentally taken actions because I was not in chat, so... I better be careful. Ugh. Trying to type something in chat, and because I wasn't clicked into chat, I started doing all sorts of things. <laughs> like passing the turn and drawing a card and stupid stuff. Yeah, the joys of playing with a client like this. Mistakes that you would never, ever, ever make in paper. <laughs> yeah. It happens. Ah, yeah, yeah. Get my stretch on in the meantime. Oh! Mr. Krabs. Uh. The court finds Mr. Krabs not guilty, but he is cheap. <laughs> oh, keep thinking. Okay, so things I can do here. If I spin the top, wait, well, I think I have to spin the top, right? Um, I'm only going to get to play Snapcaster. Well, no, 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 that's wrong. Uh, I can play the Medallion and the Snapcaster because of the cost reduction from Medallion. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay, so we're, we're going to spin the top using that one in particular. Uh, this is this is just always going to resolve. Oh my goodness. I know that's on me, but good grief. Oh, which one is this? Jace. Uh, Energy Flux. You know, we're legitimately at the point now where Energy Flux might do something. 
it might just work. Uh huh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There are a few things I would like to do here. Like, all of these are okay. All of these are fine. And I certainly would prefer Energy Flux over an extra turn spell when I don't have the lands for it yet. The thing is, though, I will shortly be able to do that if I can get rid of Lavinia. And dropping a Snapcaster here pretty soon might just be the answer. Dropping Snapcaster just as a Doomblade is probably the answer here. That said, Energy Flux is going to hurt me, too. So I, I do have to be careful. So maybe what I'm supposed to do is actually put Jace here. Energy Flux is going to hit my top in Cage. Uh, though Cage isn't going to do much more this game, I think. Um, so draw the Jace, play the Medallion and a land, and then crack for Snapcaster Mage in, in a hot minute. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. Good times. I'm going to do this, actually. Alright. So, draw. Make sure I do that correctly. Oh, hello. Hello. Hero. Okay, alright. And then pass turn. Thinking. Alright, what you got? Uh, top. Top. What you, what you got? Top. Ah, oh, the, the best of times. It was the best of times. It was definitely the best of times. That's how that story went. Ah, oh, it was the best of times. It was the bluest of times. Look at this nice little blue mirror. Vintage blue mirrors. Yours is like an actual combo deck. Mine is like an actual combo deck. All right, yay, top shenanigans. Woo! All right. Huh. Huh. Ho. Oh. Okay. I am at your mercy. Mostly. I believe I am. I think that's pretty safe to say at this point. Come next turn, though, I'm about to draw an extra card. I'm about to, like, play. I'm going to get to the point where I can actually play an extra turn spell. That'll be fun. That'll be a lot of fun, folks. Uh, so I'm about to drop Snapcaster, hit an extra turn, play it, uh, hit an energy flow. Well, no, I'm not, because I have a uh, fetch land up, so never mind. I'm not going to. All right, they're just going to take the one. That'll work. That'll work. I guess we're on the Snapcaster not beat down plan here. Oh, God. What is this? Teferi? Narset? Thinking. It's not really anything I can do here. The only thing I, that matters is technically Sensei's Divining Top, but the way that Narset's worded, I'm actually okay. Uh... Huh. Huh. Yeah. Okay. My least favorite thing when someone texts me. If I see that in a, like a, a dating conversation or something, a text conversation, that's the... Uh, that's not the greatest thing to see. Disinterest level drops to negative amounts. Disinterest level drops... Disinterest rises, interest drop. Okay, there's a force of will. So that was my risk. That was my risk there. I'm gonna make you use the force, though. I'm going to make you do it. Find card. About medallion. I have forgotten about medallion. <laughs> yeah. Understood. Is he good? Mr. Chan? Shoutouts to Mr. Chan. Uh, T. 
T-I-A-G-O, or is it T-A-I-G-O? I don't remember. The, the, the last Invitational winner, he got a, a card made for him, and it's, uh, it's Snapcaster Mage. It's kind of cool. Just a lot. Alright. Thinking. Mr. Chan. Tiago? I don't remember. Okay. I, I don't remember, unfortunately. Alright, top is good. Oh, interesting. I, I imagine this is digging for a blue card, perhaps? Huh. Oh, wait, what just happened? I missed it. What just happened here? Oh, no, no, there it is. It's force and then pitch something. Pitch Lavinia. Interesting. Okay. Oh, hello. One too many. Two. One. Two. Three. Alright. What's the top of my deck again? It's, uh... Oh, I didn't shuffle. Did I? Well, just to make sure. So I don't actually know what the top of my deck is. Alright, I can risk it being a land, but I think it's better for me to top and then play Baby Jace. Alright, top. Look at the top three. Let's do that. Ah, ha! You are too late, bro. Damping Sphere, you are way too late to matter. Oh, this is bad. I don't have a fetch land. This is this is bad, bro. This is this is really bad. They only have one card, so it's not a storm kill this game. I I, I think. Narset can find something else, but it's probably not going to be a storm kill. Uh, so I think I'm supposed to draw a, draw one of the. I'm supposed to put Damping Sphere up next. Draw this, play Jace, keep Jace alive, upkeep, draw, discard, transform Jace, and then use the uh, the top. I believe that's the line I'm supposed to take here. Could be wrong. And also, by the way, Jace, not about to do very much, unfortunately. The, I'm going to have to just plus Jace because the minus doesn't do anything anymore because of my own Graft Digger's Cage. Good. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. I can't do Jace on my turn unless I'm just going to discard. I won't be able to draw. Alright. Interesting. Because of Narset, I'm going to have to wait on Jace, oddly enough. That's that's going to hurt, folks. I'm hurt, dog. Don't ask if I'm okay. Alright. Before I pass turn, I'll spin the top. Or before I pass priority back to me. Uh, back to going to my turn. End of my opponent's turn. When I have priority, I'm going to spin the top again. Also, where did their top go? I missed... Oh, they, they spun the top. They, they put the top back on top. This is top, isn't it? No, no, top's here. They haven't drawn yet. Alright, cool. Yay for top draw. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Top draw was a little oof. Yeah. But you did what you had to do. If I can get the Jace to transform, though, I'm not so worried about the Narset, because I'll make it an O2. You're right. Yeah. If you found another mage. That would be, that would be nice. That would be very nice. It'd also be nice if I could use my Sapcaster Mage ability. I would love a preordain here. <laughs> I would have loved that preordain just a lot. Oh, hello. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay, they're just, they're just gonna not take the damage. Okay, that's fair enough. 
Use use that mana for uh, for a storm turn, I guess. If you have it. Yeah, no response. No response. I guess they can't not attack. They, they sort of have to, right? I am seeing that correctly. Keep checking just to make sure. Just, 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 just to make sure that it's still recording. Alright. Yeah, no response. Let's see what they're working with. Or I guess I won't, actually. Oh, no, I will. I only get to see the one, I don't get to see the others. Yay. Alright, what you got? What you got? What you got? Tough choice. Just trying to keep the conversation flowing. As you do. You are blue. Not... <laughs> not fun. Not cool. No, it's cool. It's really cool. She's, she's a good card. Um, I like her for the format. I, I think that she is overall healthy for the format. I actually, believe it or not, think the same thing of Narset. Ooh, another Narset. Uh, that's okay. I, I can dig that. I can dig it. That gives you some redraws, kind of. Alright, so this is a top spin, I imagine, because there's blue blue, so it can't be... Yeah, that's a good pun. <laughs> that's not what I, uh, that's not what I meant, but, uh, okay. I mean, you can't force. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, I see. Yeah, no misstep. Here. Yeah, no misstep here. If only. Celevi. <laughs> yeah, misstep would be okay. I could actually... I could use it. Not that it would do very much, but... Yeah, I would trade a misstep for a top, but I would also trade that misstep for a card that did something. So, uh, yeah, this is gonna be fun. This is going to be real fun. If I can find... So if the third card uh, on the top of my deck is a land, I can use the top to put it on top, and then start casting some extra turn spells. But, there is a downside to that. I just have to dis... Oh, jeez. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what happened? I, I missed that. What's going on? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I'm like, what on earth just happened here? This is just being used for reference, so since it's out, we'll take a look at it too. Uh, once again, remember that Grafdaker's Cage does not do me any good, unfortunately. Uh, I will not be able to take extra turns off of Jace Telepath Unbound. I will, however, be able to stop Lavinia from doing me damage, and will eventually turn Jace into an actual win condition. Um, you know, as you do. As you do. Also, once again, bear in mind, I can't use the Jace activation on this coming turn. I will have to wait until my opponent's next turn, if I would like to actually draw and discard. So in other words, if I'd like to get a card through my deck. Um, if I draw another land here, I'll be able to start taking extra turns, but I, I don't know that it's worth it to start taking extra turns yet. And the reason, of course, is because you know, I have a, I would like to be able to draw something off Jace. Let's see, so three? Please be a land. That's not a land, but that is a Kefnat. Huh. So we're gonna go... Oh, no, no, not like that. Okay, that. Does this just get there? No, no it doesn't, because I still need another land. I can't actually cast them yet, until I have another land. I mean, Kefnet will stop a Lavinia. I, I mean, I, I have to do it because Kefnet stops Lavinia. But I'm still not out of the woods just yet. Alright. 
My turn? My turn? Just making sure. Because I, I did take a take some priority. Untap. Draw. One. Two. I swear if you have Force of Will, Narset. What do you say? It, it is, it's a creature anyway, so Lavinia would not care. Oh boy. Is that hidden one a force of will? Resolves. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes. Alright. Uh, we are going to pass the turn. Jace gets to do his thing. Yay. Alright. Now, the way I stacked my deck is such that the next card is actually uh, captured. So I'm going to have to spin the top first and then activate Jace. I has a plan for Kefnet. Yeah, I'll bet you do. I'll bet you do. I'm not going to like it. Alright, teeny tiny sliver of hope. The fact that Narset means that I can't draw actually can potentially work with Preordain. Uh, because I'll be able to set the top two cards of my deck and not have to worry about drawing one of them, which theoretically could set up two turns for Kefnet. It's not going to happen, but theoretically. Alright, I mean, I've stemmed the bleeding. I've hopefully stopped the bleeding. Oh god. Ooh! Ooh! Yup. I'm going to check my list really quickly. I don't have mental misstep. I think I remember why. Alright. There's a reason my opponent doesn't either. Question is what to get. <laughs> and you're asking that question. Okay. I would assume, probably incorrectly, that the answer is going to be Paradoxical Outcome. Uh, Paradoxical can return Narset, top, uh, maybe Lavinia, but definitely the, the Moxen. So at the least it'll return four, maybe five. That's actually, that's of course more than, yep, okay, I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. Four mana for drawing one, maybe two extra cards over Ancestral Recall. Still worth it. Still worth it. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, it's on the top, right? Is this end of turn? Since opener. Alright. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Just to be sure. was... Holy crap! Wait, 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 Dude, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> dude. It's all good. Was... Mystical Tutor end of turn? Just making sure. Yeah, I, I, I know why the opponent did that. They see that they have Lavinia out, and I have one. Um, and I have thrown my own Flusterstorm out, so they know that I can't get another Flusterstorm. There's only one in the deck. Prior to draw. Beginning of upkeep, prior to draw. Okay. Alright, proceed. Okay. Okay. On upkeep, I topped, then Mystical Tutor. Good, okay. Cool. Uh, interesting, but it works. Alright, so now we're at two. It's Mystical Tutor, Paradoxical Outcome, draw f five. D oh, okay, top activation. Yep. I see. That is indeed correct. You get a draw from the top, and theoretically I could start drawing again if I had like an Ancestral Recall. Uh, even with Ancestral Recall, I'd still be able to draw one card because it's my opponent's turn. 
with Narset, but, you know. Assuming F6 for now. I'll let you know. Alright, Mox, that's good. No response. No response. Alright. It's okay, I, I can understand the- oh jeez. This isn't good. As Evangelism would say, that can't be good. Show me a sapphire too. Just, just show me a sapphire. Yeah, assemble the Power Rangers. Thinking. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, so right now it's uh, Mystical Tutor Paradoxical the Four Moxen. The Four. Hello. Four Horsemen of the. Uh. Moxalypse? This is terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> Recall be really funny in response to Paradoxical Outcome. Yeah! Yeah, uh, and that is something that I could have cast, because despite only having one mana, I only need one mana. That's great. Alright, think time. Yeah. Stay, you can stay in the tank for a hot minute. I have to stretch. I have to stretch. I haven't played a land yet. That's correct. You haven't played a land in a hot minute, actually. Oh, okay, yep, seven. And they have the extra black. Yeah, okay, so no response. No response. Oh, yeah, there is it. There it is. <coughs> oh, good grief. <clears throat> Blah. Okay. So I would think that they could go... Hmm. Let me check the deck list really quickly. Looking in the lands, only two underground seas. Two Tundras and two Underground Seas, and they're all present and accounted for. Do they have an island? They do, so they, they could fetch for island here. So you could go fetch, island, Tundra, one of them, so that you can play Narset. It puts you at eight. Narset can try to find Tendrils. Not that it matters, actually, at this point. Like, if you cast Tendrils, I am dead. You just need to find it. That's the thing. You just need to find it. Only can fetch island. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> I caught that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Alright. So yeah, we, we have top out again. Get our top hat out. So yeah, we're at eight. Spin the top. That's correct. I agree. I, I think it's appropriate to do Narset first, to be honest. If, unless I'm miscounting. Because Narset is going to look through four cards, and then you can use top to try to look through the next three cards and spin the top to get it. So it gets you a look at seven cards. Counterpoint to myself. If you do that, one, two, after the fetch, three, three for Narset, and then you have one, two, three, yeah. Um, so barring something else, you're not going to be able to, like a Black Lotus, you're not going to be able to actually go off with Tendrils this turn. Uh, and Bolus' Citadel is right out. Not that it matters right now, anyway. Gravedigger's Cage has been... weird. I love it. And I love it. Yeah. Yeah, I love Vintage. It's, it's now my favorite format. I'm sorry, Legacy. Legacy's still really, 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 really cool. But... <laughs> Alright. So let's see. Like that. I was kind of hoping that they would have the, uh, that they would return the Lavinia. Because if there is a Force of Will being balanced on the top, I can actually use it. Ta-da! Like that. So many lines. Ay, 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 ay. Hey. Ooh, ooh, that feels good. That felt good. 
don't know if the camera can pick that up. I think that mic is decently sensitive, but... Ooh. Alright. Take your time. Take your time. The Young Turks. <laughs> Shoutouts to the Young Turks, I guess. I'm totally gonna win on the deck out plan. Look at this. That's totally what's going to happen here. Oh, Narset. How I love thee. I, I legitimately don't think that Narset is is broken, invent like, she's really good, obviously. I don't think that she's restriction-worthy. I think she's fine where she is. Uh, she is serving to keep a lot of decks in check, and she is kind of acting like the fun police, but because they also restricted Mental Misstep, if you restrict Narset too, that's making the, the blue draw crazy decks have that much more uh, to work with. So I, I do actually, and plus Narset isn't herself a win condition. She can obviously find you a win condition, indeed that's part of what this deck is trying to do, but she herself isn't a win con. And so while I appreciate players much better than I am, like Rich Shea and LSV, and their opinion on, on Narset, um, I, I can't say that personally I agree. I, I, I mean, she's really good, I don't think she quite crosses that line. All right, so top, and put it back on top. All right, we got there. All right. Well, uh, this is a, yeah. Uh, now, granted, I don't know what's, yeah, okay, I'm going to say okay. Cool, you're good. All right. Narset. It's good. Oh, you know what? Well, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I, I actually probably should have done a Jason response. Like, done the top Jason shenanigans. Uh, oh well. It's okay, I, I think I messed up a little bit. It's probably not going to matter though, I know what two of the three cards on top of my deck are. I'd like to hold off on using that tap for- oh, jeez. That's, uh, that's quite the card. It means that my opponent is guaranteed to not let me take extra turns starting next turn. It's guaranteed. Guaranteed. Alright, do you have it? Alright, one and zero for, I assume, a tutor. Uh, do they have it this turn? I don't think they do. This can only get island, and they have white. I'm going to say no response. Alright. What is this? Black Lotus. Ah. Oh. Yeah, maybe I should have tried it last turn. There, there isn't anything that I can do here. Force of Will is right out. And uh, that is blue mana. Okay, cool. Interesting. I guess it's another PO. Do it. Do it. Oh jeez, my eye. My eye. What is this? A tinker? If only two is going out, that sounds like a tinker. But they can't do tinker! Oh, it's time twister. Uh... Huh. Yeah, I, I understand the relationship between these two cards. But I, I, as I mentioned earlier, I can do something. Uh, huh. I'll get to draw one card. Yeah, so this is weird. <laughs> yes, this is very, very weird. Yeah, um, I'd get to draw one card because it can't draw more than one card each turn. It also would make this just really even so much worse. Like, it's it's not even funny <laughs> how much worse that gets. Um... Okay. Alright, so shuffle, put these in. Put these in the deck. I'm going to have to reveal the top card. It's not going to matter, but I am going to reveal it. How do I, uh... 
So put all this in the deck. On the oak cheese. See, that's what I mean. On the bottom. What are... Get... Get out... Uh, okay, fine. Shuffle. Reveal the top card. Hello. Look at top card. Kefnap. Put it in the hand. Oh yeah, I, I guess I just can do this, right? It's only revealed to me, right? Okay. <laughs> no response. Yeah, yeah. Did you have a did you have an outcome? Did you have anything else you would like to do? All of the things. They've already used Black Lotus and four Moxen. That'll save. That's the last one. <laughs> uh, yep. Yep. No response. No response. Why? Like, this is building up for an outcome, I guess? Because now they have enough for outcome. They have one floating, two, three, four, and then outcome. Uh, I think I, yeah, I hit no response. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. No, no! Okay, no. Please tell me you whiffed. Please tell me you whiffed. I need to hear these words. Uh, did, at least they didn't find tendrils, because if they had, it's just a... No, wait. Because this only gets island. So they only have one black mana up right now. If, if they have tendrils, and if they don't have any additional mana... Ooh, I am saved for just a short while. Which means, Kefnet, you better work your magic. Uh, weirdly enough, if I survive this turn, that might make the top a little bit better. I, I cannot... I'm locked for the top of my deck. There's nothing I can do with that. Uh, for this turn. Hmm. I'm actually tempted to not use the Jace this turn, just so that I can definitely get a land drop. Because if I get land drop extra turn spell... Let me see the wording on Kefnet. Ah, uh, so if I reveal an extra turn spell and it's not time walk, I won't be able to cast it right away. Uh, I'll have to cast the copy right then, and Lavinia says no. Uh, what's going on? I, I did say no response, you see it up here, but... Oh, thinking. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, if there's a tendrils there. Oh, if there's a tendrils there. If any deck can get out of this, get out of the opponent having tendrils in hand but not being able to cast it until next turn, it's this deck. If any deck. If any deck can. Yeah, and I'm, I'm sort of hoping that Crafter's Cage is doing something, uh, but now that there's nothing in their yard except Time Twister, I imagine that the answer is no, it's probably not. Uh, just keeping it real, it's probably not. Alright, come on, come on, what you got? What you working with? Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> this is a cool line. Do it! I don't know what's going on, but I like it. I like the thought of it. Just double checking math. <laughs> you did say you had math homework before. Yeah, so my, my opponent just got done with math homework and decided to go into a game of MTG. The brain is not fried, it seems. Or maybe it is, and that's why this is taking a hot minute. This is much, much more complicated. I believe you. And you're in college. <laughs> Double integrals and polar coordinates. <laughs> Yeah, the good old day. I, I'm glad I'm out of college. I don't have to deal with that anymore. 
sort of. Check this out. Oh no. This, I should keep Knuckles. Oh no, in paste. <laughs> I should. Oh dear. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, one floating. Uh, yep. Yep, that's going to do it. You know, theoretically now I could have Flusterstorm in hand. Theoretically. Uh-oh. They don't even have to show that. I see it. <laughs> yeah, where is it? Where'd it go? Alright, there it is. Yep. Alright, so I don't get to copy it, even if I wanted to. Oh, this is so silly. This is so silly. This is silly and I love it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is where Chain of Vapor turns into a storm card. This is, it's rarely, like, you know how, like, in the show, Yu-Gi-Oh cards had, like, text on them that never came up except in the anime? Well, uh, this, this is exactly what's going on. Jeez. Alright, so we're fetching, we're getting an island. That's cool. That's his coot. Ha. Ha. Storm is yes. <laughs> Storm count is yes, is what I mean to say. Alright, so welcome to the My Opponent Gets to Go Off show, folks. Yeah, Crypt? Cool. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Folks, this is amazing. Just building up the storm count. I, I mean, I assume they have tendrils in hand, so this is extremely superb. Oh, jeez. Thinking. Huh. Huh. Okay, so the way this is worded, I can now copy stuff from my opponent. Uh, against my opponent, I should say. Alright, so I can sack a land to return Narset to hand. Uh, bounce all your stuff. <laughs> I will respond using the sack shenanigans. No sack. No sack. Oh, okay. Good. We got it. <laughs> Lols. So, uh, why did we do this again? Why did we do this? I assi there's just show me tendrils, please. For the love of all things good and holy, show me tendrils. One, two, three. Okay. Do it. Y'all go. Alert response. Yeah, now we can do stuff. Now I get to draw extra cards. So let's draw extra cards. Alright, so what's the order here? Uh, I believe that what I'm supposed to do is... I think I have to just use Jace and just hope that I hit a, uh, a Flusterstorm, right? Because if I use the mana for Sensei's Divining Top, I still can't use Force of Will, so nothing's good. So we're just going to tap Jace here. 
Draw a discard. Loot. Alright. Let's go. <clears throat> oh no! Oh no! Uh, we have a token here somewhere. I think. Yeah, there you are. Put you in play. Cool. Hey ya, hey ya. Yep. Go for it. Come right on in. Let's see. Hello. Reading that. Thank you. No, no problem. You're good. Love you. Hey, and I you. I can only imagine if it didn't. Alright. Well, I guess I'll put counters on this, but, you know, whatever. Start at five. Do, 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 do. Alright. I had to hope for Flusterstorm right there. You know what? I could have spent. Wait. I could have activated top. Huh. Oh well. Uh, I'll keep playing. Yeah, just for an extra shot. So the cards in Graveyard right now, all of the things. The answer is all of the things. Uh, huh. What you got? Making sure they're not waiting on me. I imagine this is thinking of what lines are out, but, you know. Tutor for something. Alright, maybe Lotus. For Narset Time Twist. Let me know when you do something. Oh, hello. Please. You know, as you do. Okay, okay. Oh, you haven't even attacked yet, by the way. You're good. That's how it goes. This turn has been something. All right. So I'm, I'm basically waiting for them to play the Black Lotus here. I imagine that's the next thing that's about to happen. I'm just waiting for it to happen. When trying to tendrils, I see that. I'm lucky to still be here. This is one long turn, but at least it's game three. So when this ends, you guys are good. It's been a turn. Shoutouts to this being a turn. <sighs> and obviously as the turn goes on, I did lose a little bit of focus. I I was so worried about using the first ability of Sensei's Divining Top that I forgot about the second for the purpose of this. It may not matter anyway, but when the opponent actually plays something else, I'm going to activate Top. Alright. Okay, here we go. Looks like it's about to get started. Alright, so two in the pool. Alright. Draw mode. Might as well do it now. Better late than never. Alright. <laughs> All 
or not. Go for it. I'm trying to see, they should have me this turn, right? Just from what I know here. And what I know that is in their deck. Alright. Paradoxical, yep. So, they have blue, of course. Whee! Oh, hello, hello. Okay. Oh no! Interestingly enough, returning the permanence is not part of the cost, which is the way that it should be. Um, if you could do that as part of the cost, then it would basically make a really good chunk of the spell uncounterable, for all intents and purposes. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> that's... it's no bueno. But, uh, one of the things that that, uh, that means is you can use Hercules Recall on it. Make them draw one if they would like to bounce their Lavinia. You know, as you do. No worries. You do what you have to do. Yeah, and that was exiled, so that is, that is correct. That was exiled. For the rest of the turn, these are the only cards that can be played from the grave, because anything else that's cast and goes to the grave gets exiled instead. So, that is, a, that is an interesting, and, and that took me a while to understand myself, to be honest, uh, when it came to understanding that card. Time Twister here, it would be stupid. <laughs> no, no, no. When you're already looking at this many cards in hand. Uh, Time Twister also would be, there's not a Narset out, so it'd be kind of bad. I would actually get seven cards and I get to keep playing. So let's not do that, if at all possible. White mana? Okay. <laughs> okay. Storm let's get that Storm Crown all the way up to 29, folks. Oh, jeez. With our powers combined... Uh, Captain Planet. Captain Wooberg. Captain... No, let's not. No more puns. No more really awful puns. Let's not say we didn't. Yeah, for most of those colors... I say most. For two of those colors, it makes absolutely no difference. They might as well be colorless, but... You know. Doing it correctly. On this gobbledygook-looking field. Gobbledygook. Now there's a word. There's a word for it. I'm sorry, folks. I'm trying to keep this entertaining. Okay. Now, F6 is official. Yeah. Show me you have it. Yeah, we're doing it again. We're doing it again. Alright, so what? 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7? Not sure. Alright, so 7 cards have been returned to hand so far. And, uh, we're not doing Defense Grid. You might as well do Defense Grid, to be honest. Um, oh, are you debating? Oh, you could be debating something else. Lavinia, I agree. Oh, we're, we're risking it for the biscuit. I'm glad I did not reveal my hand there. I thought about revealing it just as a matter of like, well, okay, concede. But, uh, now force is on the table. Do it. Oh, wait, they've already drawn, so they can't do defense grid now. If you're going to return Lavinia, you might as well... Well, no, it's fine. Come on, deck, where? Where? Not like this. Dog gif. Going to stop tracking storm. Fair enough. Storm count is yes. After all. Yeah, yeah, um. Whee! There's actual factual nothing I can do here, so. 
Uh, okay, no, 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 I, I actually agree with returning the Lavinia. Uh, not returning the uh, defense grid as well is risky. Oh, hello. Yeah, about that. Um, not so much. Nice? Not so much. Not exactly, but it's okay. I appreciate it. You're being kind. You are being kind. Did you find it? Please tell- ow, please tell me you found it. Oh no. There's 20 cards left, so, I mean, it's fair enough. There's a decent enough chance it's not there, but with this many looks through the deck. I mean, we have top as well. Uh, let's go again. What is going on here? Don't. Don't. Don't even. Don't even. I can feel my cells slowly dividing as I approach my end. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? Alright, just in case. Why would you do this to me? <laughs> Alright. It's in there somewhere. It has to be in there somewhere. Also, they didn't play Lavinia out first for the extra... Oh, it's fine. Oh! Oh, defense grid! Defense grid down! I mean, oh, Cataxian probes, so they already know. The, the shields are down. It's fine. It's fine for them. Yeah, and I've already drawn my card for Kefnet, not that it matters anyway. Uh, tendrils. Really? <laughs> Not like this. That was four paradoxical outcomes, by the way. And recall still should be in the deck. Or maybe it's in the hand. Uh, just show me ancestral recall now. Call now. Okay. I will stop with singing that. Oh, do do da do. I swear if you give me a turn. Okay, if this somehow gets clutched out... <laughs> no, not clutch. That, that's, that makes it sound like I did something. That's, ex that's entirely not what's happening here. Wait, is there another one? There has to be. I, I must have missed one. I, I thought that they had used four already, but... Oh yeah, because Time Twister, right? They did one and then Time Twister, maybe? Show me, okay. Now you can't not have it. That's the idea, anyway. Okay, don't return too many cards. Yeah. I don't want to be that guy that's like, oh, you drew too many cards, GG. I don't want to be that guy. Nobody likes that guy. <sighs> oh yeah, of course the next one's top. That makes sense. Ah. That was wild. Ooh. Card's gone wild. You're sitting through it. Hey, no problem. I unironically love watching combos go off. I do. I actually do. I thought I was going to have to stop until I found a tutor for chain. Made up a lot of mana. Demonetized and bounce cage. The cage bounce was the turning point. Yeah, yeah, it really was. It's legit, it's, it's legit. Hey, thank you, uh, thank you, thank you, and uh, say hi to YouTube.
Oh, uh, where do you go? Where'd you go? All right. I like doing this. <laughs> All right. All right. How'd you sideboard? Can't believe you made it to the end of the video. <laughs> All two of them. All two of them that are left. I'll actually get to see in the analytics how many people made it to the end. If you did, thank you. You, you rock. All right. Et pour moi. Ooh, uh, let's see. Mine was... Uh, okay. So let me scoop all this up. Oh, hello. Oh, they're just doing that. That's fair. All right. Hello? Hello? How do I... Here we go. Move all these to the... Nope, it's not doing it. Okay, cool. Never mind. So what I was going to do is just put them all together and pull out the cards that were in my sideboard. So here we go. We're going to do you. Hello. Get out of here. And it's not, not anything here. Nope. Those were all fine. So we will check it out. Find card. There's Hercules Recall right here. Hereabouts. Along with Damping Sphere. I don't think I remember having a chance to get the Damping Sphere out early. Uh, no, I did. I did. Had I known that that was about to happen? Yeah, no kidding. Uh, <laughs> no kidding. To be, in my defense, I think they were starting from, like, two cards. So a Storm Kill didn't seem like the most likely outcome. But nevertheless, I, I made a mistake. Own up. I'm owning up to it. And I thought that there was one more card in here. Oh, Flusterstorm. That's right, Flusterstorm. Forgot about Cage somehow. Let's see. Where's my sideboard? How do I access my sideboard from here? I'm sure there's a way. Where there's a hotkey, there's a way. That's how that works. Oh, there's voice chat in here. Ahem. And I took out one Jace VP and four extra turns. I don't know the last ad. Oh, second fluster. Oh, fair enough. That'll do it. Second fluster storm seems really good. It's weird. It's it's only a spell pierce in this matchup for the most part because I'm not really casting a lot of spells a turn. But you know, it's fine. You had balance. Ooh. That's nice. Good card. Underplayed card. In my honest opinion. I decided it wasn't worth it. Uh, yeah. It really is. Especially as the metagame is moving the way it is. I, I do not dislike balance at all against shops. I think it's not played nearly as much as it ought to be in large part because of shops. Some matches, though, it's pretty bad. It's pretty cool. Yeah, admittedly, it's kind of like Time Twister. It's really good in some matchups, it's really bad in others. And it's kind of just too slow most of the time. Hi. All right, well, well, thanks for playing and talking. I appreciate it. All right. Just doesn't do enough. Yeah, agree, agree. Ooh, catch you again. All right, and that's that's it for me for now, YouTube. Thank you for sticking out to the end. I right, see you all later. Bye bye.